permanent schedule. Right now I'm working day shift and I hate that, so. But we're going to be mo moving back to a night shift where I can stream at late night Penta, which will be EU friendly. Back to where I was like a year or two ago. year and a half ago. Actually, about exactly almost a year ago. Well, this game's graphics. Blah, 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 blah. It's windy, blue trees. In France, it's midnight for you. This game is going to make me puke rainbows with the beautiful graphics. That's grotesque, and I love it. I need to restart my internet. That needs an exclamation point, Phoenix. <laughs> Hello, adventurer. Or the wooden hat is the only shop and open at night. Seems silly that no one else stays open late if you ask me. Shut your mouth. Town. 5,000. Mmm. Yep. Yep. What? Wait, the blacksmith's open at night? What are you talking about, baby? What you talking about? Oh, <gasps> spear! I want the spear. Oh, they actually make you go down a pathway, because you can't make this one with this. You actually have to go down the pathway. So it's like a debuff path. So this is clearly, like, dizzying. That's probably poison. Yeah, Venom Sting, that's definitely the poison icon. That's Fire, Hell Spear, and that's Lightning Rod Spear. Okay, so we now are understanding the debuff stuff. 512,000. And this one is basically, I'm just going to guess DPS. Oh, it's so much DPS. 150 to 110, 250 to 175, 400 to 300. Oh, it's, this is a DPS pathway. Warrior Spear, Wood Spear, Monkey Spear, Fight a Spear. Dude, I like the debuff staff. I know it's less damage, but you got to go with the debuffs, man. You can get Hell Spear and Lightning Rod Spear, you go debuffs. Who needs a monkey or fighter? You go debuffs. Oh my god, I can make Globos. Globos! That's actually Spanish for sphere or circle. That's actually not Spanish for gloves. But it's funny. It's funny that they end with lightning and start with the confusion one so far. Do the debuffs do damage? I'd imagine, yeah, I'd imagine if you hit somebody with flame gloves, they're gonna burn. And with lightning, they're gonna probably get stunned or do like persistent lightning damage. I can almost upgrade my bow. I can actually almost get the catapult bow, which sounds badass, by the way. A flamethrower bow. It's gonna cost 20 bucks. 20 bucks, which is actually a freaking steal for what I've played so far. We have not even beaten, we have not even fought a boss yet, and we've been playing for three hours. If this game has four dungeons and possibly end game content, this is a, this is a 50, 60 dollar game for me. This is going to be another Hollow Knight, where it's going to be like, I would pay full price for it. The Rock Big Short. 500 damage. <sighs> I can get the Iron Helm. I can get the Iron Chest Plate. I get the iron beads. Light armor for more speed. Man, light armor just looks... It's its so good to me, man. We might have to mix it up. We might not do a full set. But I'm confident in the fact that I want to get something here. But I'm going to get the spear. You sure want to craft, craft a training spear? Of course I am. Give me that spear. Spear. Spear! <laughs> So we have a training spear. We now apparently don't have a training spear, even though we made one. What? What? Did I put it back in my house? 
Excuse? Is it because my inventory was full that you, you screwed me? <gasps> you screwed me. The game screwed me. It's also not loading this chest. Nope, I accidentally went in bed instead of the chest. God damn it, Penta. Stupid Penta. It's outside the blacksmith. You're a goddamn genius, Corn. You're a goddamn genius. Put this stuff on here. For 250. No! That one. What do these things do? What does this guy do? No! Penta, Penta, what are you doing? Grab that. What does this do, though? What does it do? Golem volume, I wanna know! I'm feasting to know. So I just bought the game on Humble. Did you use my Humble link, Grim? <laughs> Obviously jesting. But not jesting. Oh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I also forgot that this completely had a uh, homing attack. Or not a homing attack, but a uh, charge attack. Breakfast, dinner, hell yes. I'm a big fan. Be man, come together with your hand, save me. No, Penta. You gotta be such a derp. It's a freaking derp, dude. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. Now with the gifted <laughs> sub to corn, welcome back into the sub club. I'd like to say you've been sub before. Mm -hmm. If not, welcome. If so, welcome back. I take I take grim silence as as he didn't use my he didn't use my code. He didn't use my special link. Ah. Shit, I won't get my five cents. It's fine. There's a slime boy in there. Can I kill the slime boy? Nah, I can't. I did the purchase on mobile, so yeah, there you go. You can use the link on mobile still. Just saying, for anybody who was curious, you can still use it on, on mobile, but I am not offended. Plus 27 damage? Yeah. I can enchant it again. I can enchant it again. Oh, it only goes up to 41. I thought it was plus 41. I was gonna lose my shit. Dude, we can just like continue buffing our stuff. I'm a big fan of that. I am a big fan of that. I'm a big old fan of that. The biggest giantist. Dude, it's already 8.30. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it's already freaking 8.30. Are you serious? Ah! This day's cruising, man.
Okay, so it's a piercing shot. Wow, okay. Spear hype. Get away from my sticks. Spear hype. I am an idiot. But are we surprised? No. That was unfortunate. That was terribly unfortunate. I like how it waits for that last 100, or that last one out of 100. The game's just trolling you that the thing doesn't heal you fully right away. Come on! Come on! Yeah, I love the the shot spread is pretty damn cool. Pickup speed? I mean, yeah, but like, there's a strategy also in not killing enemies in locations where you won't be able to grab the stuff. When the game is about looting, there is a certain strategy there, and I'm on the developer side on that one. I'm on the dev side there. The, the pickup speed is otherwise it would be too easily exploitable. There's a slight air of tactics in the fact that you don't want to kill people when they're close to edges and stuff. Positional strategy, if you will. Otherwise, the pickup speed is perfectly fine in my eyes. Things suck into you. Giggity. <gasps> yeah. yeah, we went from doing like 20 damage or 25 damage to 39. But then again, that's just my opinion. Perhaps the su the sucking needs to be a little bit better. I am no game designer. Meow, yeah, you're gonna make me get rid of that emote on Twitch too. Just saying. I got rid of it on Discord. I'll get rid of it on Twitch. That was like the fiftieth time I've seen it today. You bunch of lewd bastards. Uh, so I'm not talking about the game, but what is my favorite weapon by type? Staffs. Staffs, staves, if you will, 100%. Quarter staffs and bow staffs are like the best weapons. You guys should know by now, I don't have a heart. I'll get rid of that emote. I don't have a heart. This is the destroy one, right? Destroys... Destroys a curse. Uh, well, wait, 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 wait. Put this here. Take this. Put this here. Remove the curse there. Four lanterns. Holy shit. Can I... I can. I can sell this.
Dude, I am baffled at the fact that it's already, like, 8.30. That is just, like, insane to me. You fucker. Okay. Roll. Ah, uh, twigs. We I haven't found a use for twigs yet, right? So let's get rid of that. Stack this shit. We can't stack that, so we'll get rid of it. Because the eggs are better. Back and now watch on the TV. Welcome back, shadows. Yeah. Dude. What? You're not even joking with me. That's a big old big sword. Nope, no bosses kill no bosses kill Shadows of Ice. Still just exploring the dungeon and selling stuff and trying to make stuff. We got new weapons though, so that's new weapon hype. We just got a big old big sword. A big old giant sword. So we're gonna try the big old sword out. We've well, already read that. Oh ho ho ho! Look at you with your dinky ass swords. Not as much damage as my spear. Not as much damage as the spear, though. Dude, I'm getting as many iron bar iron bars as possible, dude. I'm gonna get a billion iron bars if I have to. Yeah. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. Let's go back to the... For now, at least. We'll go back to the bow and this. Maybe once we upgrade it, it'll get a little bit better. But for now, I'm, I'm looking at it like, eh. I am a dirk. And by dirk, I mean derp. We don't need twigs. We probably are going to need twigs, right? Let's be honest. We're going to need twigs. It's a mimic! It's actually just a mimic! He's spitting money at me. I don't know how to feel about this. Jesus. He dropped a billion potions. Use it. Pick it up. Too much baking bottom on these because it's thick. Penta became a stripper. I did. I'm the one guy who uses Nutcracker and Dead... So I'm going to stop there because... Oh, well, he used Massacre Chocolate Milk and Isaac because Big Swords and Moon Lighter. Yeah. But it's one thing to say it and one thing to, to play it, bud. You gotta play it first. Also... 
Notice how my character faces the way I am in real life in the menu. Didn't realize that right away. Now I know. Now I realize. Now he knows. We don't need this many teeth stones. Those are, those are cheap and easy to come across. But now we have a billion potions. Do I get money when you... Do I get money when I get hit? Probably not. Probably not. Welcome in, Walnut. Alright, we've probably read this before, but I'm gonna give it a chance. Yeah, moving rock. I love Mimics. I love Mimics, man. You love and you hate Mimics. It's just the Mimic relationship, bud. It's just a Mimic relationship. Roll at me. No, roll at me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Okay, listen here, buddy. Mmm, maxed out. Oh, it's these guys. Give me the water! Give me the water! Fuck me! No! 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 Ah! Uh. Immediately sends item in direction to shop. Okay. Uh, go. That is the best curse. That is the best curse. Ah. 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 You spend too long on a floor. It's a roguelite trope, man, guys. You understand. It's the Spelunky tactics. Let's go. Hell, even frickin' Doggo Boy has it. Fido, Dungeon Rescue, even that has it. It's just, a, it's, it's just roguelite tactics, buds. We're all familiar. Spend too long on a floor, Ghosty Boy comes. I was afraid I missed Dungeon. Raider Nation, so long, so uh, no see. How you doing, bud? I mean, you, you've been here recently, but not like it's still been a while. I hope you're well. Genuinely hope you're well. You apparently did not hit me. Also, Walnut, I have no idea what you're talking about. I was afraid I missed the dungeon. I have no idea what you mean. Secret room? Mmm. I'm still tempted. Oh, it's a secret door. We gotta go in the door. Man, there's so many golem cores. Golem, sorry. 
Hope people get triggered when I say golem. Or when I don't say golem, rather. Are there golem, uh, golem things back here? Umaral, welcome in, bud. Yeah, but the ghost, unlike Spelunky, doesn't make my shit worth more money. It actually just takes my stuff. It takes my loot. I kind of dislike that in this game, and I normally like things like that, but this game feels like it wants to be a min-maxing game. For starters, it's not mid-maxing, it's min-maxing with an N. And secondly, because the root of the word is minimize, maximize, uh... From what I've seen, Dylan, it gives you plenty of time to finish the floor. That's only the second time I think that ghost has shown up in three hours, three and a half hours. I think it's perfectly fine. That I will disagree with again. I thought some Darkest Dungeon was played and I wouldn't want to miss it. Nope, just this. Just busy with school and sports and stuff. Yeah, you have been. You mentioned the last time you were here about your, your busy sports schedule and I... I'm super s Jesus. I just got Zelda. Seventy seven damage. Guy was just not taking my shit. He was just not taking my shit. You can't tell me that's not a Deku Baba. Or a Korok, excuse me, not a Deku Baba, a Korok. That is a Korok if I've ever seen one. Rip, big ol' sword. It was shitty anyway. That's what I'm gonna tell myself to validate the fact that I was an idiot. That was a nasty ass hit. Dude knocked me for freaking 77 damage. I thought I I thought I was spamming my heal enough. I clearly was not hitting it fast enough to heal. Oh my god. I was not hitting it fast enough, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. The fail state of this game so far is not remotely dissatisfying. It's actually satisfying. It lets you jump right back into the dungeon. It gives you the opportunity to collect everything again. It is not dissatisfying at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dylan, I'm going to ban you. The it's just a prank bro meme slash joke slash cancer of the internet is my least favorite thing, and I, I appreciate you never doing it again in my chat. Just saying. Just saying. That shit is the worst stuff on the internet, and don't be part of the problem, please. I love you. You're one of my favorite people. Don't be a useless internet teenager. Be a, be a better human than that. That's all I ask. Decent humans. Decent human... Attributes, if you will. It's just a prank, bruh. And I'm not gonna go into what exactly my thought process that is on that, because I don't make my stream about uh, YouTube drama or Twitch drama or anything like that. It's just, uh, yeah. The originer, originators of that statement probably deserve to be kicked in the crotch for the rest of eternity. That's all I'm going to say. And I will be the person kicking him in the crotch. I would have no problem against that. Zero problem. Going to lurk and play Fallout 3? Fallout 3's... I got to do a follow but. I gotta, first of all, I gotta gauge chat's, like, opinion, but I've been tempted to do a Fallout 4 playthrough with, like, all the DLC on PC at some point on stream again. It would depend on chat and if they were interested in that or not, but if you guys were, I would be more than happy to do it at some point.
because I did not have a favorable review of Fallout 4 when it released. I still liked the game. It was kind of like me and Dark Souls 2. I still liked and enjoyed the game a lot, but I was incredibly critical on it. I don't like you, enemies, because I don't understand you yet. I don't like enemies I don't understand. I like understanding my foes. Rip floor. So this is the destroys a curse. This is also the destroys a curse. So I'm gonna do this guy. Put that there. Put this here just to see what they are. Go stack. They don't stack the full way though. Those stack, but not the full way. I am interested in getting fabric more than pretty much any of this other stuff, but the steel is worth too much for me. I was not critical due to expectations. I was critical due to how the game was. I don't let my hype or anticipation of a game affect my critical standpoint on a game. Fallout 4 was in incredibly flawed. It still is incredibly flawed because it's a Bethesda game. Name a Bethesda game that was remotely satisfying on release or even post-release. Skyrim just got re-released on like 15 other consoles and still has some of the same bugs it's had in it since 2011. That's just what Bethesda games are nowadays it's kind of just a joke at this point but the real point here that I'm trying to make is it has nothing to do with the fact that it was my opinion on the game when it before it launched it was it was just not fallout it just it would just wasn't fallout that's that's pretty much what it boiled down to. It was buggy. It crashed. My game fit. My game saves got corrupted. It's just it was just not a good game for the Fallout series. I enjoyed my like hundred plus hours in the game. I thoroughly enjoyed my time with Fallout Four. There were a lot of great times, a lot of great memories. I helped write some of the stuff on the wiki because certain areas in the game were incredibly unmarked. <laughs> One of the things Bethesda's good at in their games is they do unmarked areas, which are some of my favorite areas to find in the game. Excuse me. I had to sneeze. As y'all are probably aware by now. Thank you, Corn. That's how I was, God Birdie. That's exactly how I was. The more I played it, the more frustrated I became because I kept wanting it to be better. I kept trying to not let... It's Fallout, or it's a Bethesda game, so this is allowed. I kept trying to get past that thought process. You know, it's Bethesda, so they're allowed to have these mistakes is not a thing we can allow anymore. It just isn't a thing we can allow in games anymore. We can't allow bugs and crashes and save corruption and shit like that happen because that's ah, Bethesda. Well, what the game does right more than makes up for the fact that your 300 hour save file got corrupted because you went in the door the wrong at the wrong time of the day. No, that's we we as a as a community of people playing video games have to move past that as something that's okay. You shit.
the spear is like the anti golem boy. Wait. Wait, what? Can I just like. If I kill him in there, I can't get the loot? I mean, I don't need this shit anyway, but. One glitch in Skyrim was so loved that upon removal, fans got so mad but that I was to put it back in. Guess which one I was talking about? I don't honestly care, Corn. I don't care. it would kind of defeat the purpose of me saying all I'm saying if I were like, oh yeah, that glitch was cool. It would defeat the entire purpose of me saying what I was saying. I am loving this game, though. Let's leave. Giant launch, that makes sense. That makes sense. Can upgrade our sword. Can upgrade our big sword right away. Or we can upgrade our spear. We don't have enough gold. 4,000 gold. Why should it gotta be so expansive? That's why our gold went missing, because it was a thousand gold per. Okay, so it's not as easy to upgrade those things as I thought initially. That's fair and balanced. Am I going to play or have played Wizard of Legend? I'm going to be playing it this weekend. I have it. Thanks to Alice. I have it. And, uh... I'm super stoked to play it, but... I still want to continue Darkest Dungeon, but... The thing that sucks about Darkest Dungeon is now this game came out. <laughs> and I won't even be able to finish it until the 29th, so, like, I don't know if I want to keep playing it or if we should just play it in small increments because we can't technically beat the last boss on camera until after release okay someone has asked you how are you going to stream this particular game there's the perfect question i don't know i don't know there are too many games i really want to beat darkest dungeon And on Radiant mode, it's going to be easy. So. I'm not doing a poll, because this would win. It would win 100%, because it's the it's the new hotness. That's how you guys work as a Twitch chat.
there's one thing I want out of this, it's an assort button. That is the one thing I want, is a sort button. Welcome back, Alice. I feel like this is the game that Swords of Ditto was trying to be. I think Swords of Ditto was trying to be its own game. I think that's a little too... I think that's a little bit too much of a cheap shot. But I, I do see where you're coming from because Swords of Ditto was not very good. This is incredible so far. Minimal downtime. That's all it really boils down to between this and Swords of Ditto. It's minimal downtime. Don't waste your player's time. You know, keep them invested. Keep that keep that action going. Just keep the gameplay in in invest invest. No, keep the player invested in the gameplay. Darkest dungeon in STS. What the hell's STS? Corn, what are you, what are you even talking about? The Witness and Subnautica, we already played through... Oh, I mean, I'm going to be playing through Subnautica at some point, but seeing as I've already beaten it this year, it's probably going to be a while. And I've already played through The Witness. All of that's on YouTube. I'm not playing Slay the Spire, Corn. I hate Slay the Spire. <laughs> I'm not playing Slay the Spire. Go watch someone else play Slay the Spire. I can't say that enough. I don't like that game. I'm sorry, Megacrit. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. You guys really did make a great game. However, it's awful to me. I do not like the way they handle cards. I don't I, I grew up on card games, so I just I just don't like the way they handle cards. And it's a slog, honestly. It's just a slog. Uh <sighs> Witnesses sleep. <laughs> also, Corn, you can't just make up games that you want me to play. <laughs> I mean, you can. It's your it's your right to do so, but I never said I was going to be playing Slay the Spire or Witness. I played Witness on a one-off stream or two-off stream because I just felt like playing it again, and I had nothing else to play. But I've already played through The Witness. I never finished it, so I do intend to finish it, but I never claimed to do it on uh, on stream or YouTube. Just because I don't think it does well on Twitch. It's not a game people enjoy watching most of the time. That person's coming in for weapons. I do not have weapons, except for the fact that I do have weapons. Don't you dare leave. You can have this big old sword for 300. Probably underselling? Way underselling. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Okay, what are we picturing this golem volume for? I'm going to say a thousand. I'm gonna say a straight up 1k. We undersold the the fabric as well. It's a busy day in the store today. Designs one. We'll go a thousand. Just as a as a as a test. I kinda had a feeling that it was gonna be too much. Five hundred? Oh he's they're so mad. Yeah. That's fair. I 
I don't get an all sniffly out of nowhere for some reason. I don't know why. I will read chat as soon as I possibly can. I'm currently financially doing stuff. These are the chisels. They told me they're worth a lot, so I'm going to go 500 again. Too much chit. No, I wasn't able to change the price. Those are 800 with an $80 tip. Those are not popular right now. So pleased. Beyond pleased. Wait, nope, no, no, no. We undersold these, right? No, we didn't, okay. We tragically undersold these, though. 150. Come on. No. Really? 100? Do we undersold that so much? Two fifty is fine. That's fine. One fifty is too high, fifty is too high. Seventy five? Once this person buys my glass, I will sh I will read chat. I knew it was going to be a hundred. You fucker. All right, I got to catch up with chat real quick. Uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. Different characters are different wants. Some of them, yes. I'm not saying that a lot of people don't enjoy watching The Witness or games like that. It's just on a Twitch scale, it's just not the best game. I don't do odd numbers, Shadows. I don't do odd numbers. No, thank you. No, thank you. Almost 13,000. Oh my god. It's so popular. I want a sort button.
So here's my question. When does the game actually save? If I hit main menu, when does it actually save, though? Does it save when I sleep? I believe it saves when I sleep, correct? Because I think that green jelly thing in the bottom actually tells me it saves. I don't actually have any idea how it saves. So yeah, if anybody from uh, Digital Sun happens to be watching, that's, that's the big criticism from me of of all the stuff that you could you've gotten done right with this game that's the one thing that i want is i mean obviously a noticeable save icon just to tell if people have actually saved it or not and uh the ability to sort your inventory would be massive dragic you're catching us right at the Intel's end bud dragic but welcome in, nonetheless. You are catching us right at the end, though. Because as much as I would love to play this for another three hours, we've been live for four hours, and uh, I've actually got to act. I've got to eat something before I go to bed. Preferably. I figured, I mean, it really doesn't change too much, guys. The schedule doesn't really change too much. It's either three hours or four hours. It's it's what it's or longer if I'm doing co-op stuff. This is actually an hour past where I wanted to be streaming. Still, I don't know if it's saved though. <sighs> this game is insanely good, Dragic. This game is insanely good. I cannot speak highly enough on it, and I want to play more of it. That's up to you guys, though. If you want more Moonlighter or Darkest Dungeon Friday, you're gonna have to let me know. I'd be more than happy to do it. I don't know if this game is good for, like, a YouTube series, though. I think this is more of a stream game. This is definitely more of a stream game to me. Do, 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 do. 